quick word, if you don't mind, James, uh, your thoughts uh, on uh, this bizarre new development in terms of commerce where companies seem to have decided not to bother, you know, promoting their own products, selling their own products. They're mar far more important. Uh, far more important to them is uh, their own virtue signalling. Uh, this row over the Costa Coffee trans van, uh, trans man advert on the side with a double mastectomy. Uh, uh, yesterday we covered this story. By the way, Doc Martens have done the same thing. Penguin Books, the double mastectomy trans man thing uh, seems to be a big thing in the commercial world. Now, how, why, why would you look at uh, a trans man with um, double mastectomy scars and go, do you know what? That makes me fancy a cup of coffee. Uh, they're, not, they're not even interested in trying to sell their own products. There's a real parallel here, I reckon it is going to happen, and that is uh, with Bud Light over in America. Uh, you know, the working man's beer, very successful product. Oh, who should we get to be the new face of the working man's beer? I know trans woman Dylan Mulvaney. Uh, the company is fighting for... It was uh, one of the most successful companies in America, in the world. It is now fighting for its survival due to this disastrous virtue signalling nonsense. Uh, and uh, I predict that Costa Coffee may experience the same fate, uh, particularly in so far as we covered the story yesterday. The switchboard lit up with people, you know, women who'd had double mastectomies. I had one particular heartbreak call from a guy in Cornwall uh, who said, I'm so upset about this advert because my wife had a double mastectomy. And I said, well, you know, thank you for calling my sympathy to your wife. And he said, I'm afraid she died from it. So people were absolutely traumatised, really upset by this, by this trivialisation of an important, uh, very complex and uh, difficult surgical procedure. Even, you know, because mostly it's women who have breast cancer. Uh, and, and so on, what, and I was trying to say, I said, what, what, okay, Costa Coffee and these other companies, they, they stand four square behind the LGBT community. Uh, you know, they, 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 are, they support trans men and trans women. Well, so do I. But I don't need to stand on the rooftop and shout it. And in what way do they think virtue signalling about their own wonderfulness and their own wonderful wokery is going to sell coffee? If I was a shareholder of uh, Costa Coffee, I'd be furious right now. Yeah, I mean, I used to work in advertising. Um, it's, it's just, you know, the whole thing is understand your audience and also try and grow a new audience as well. Um, of course, they probably don't have that problem. They've got a huge share of the market. But this is uh, potentially might a not problem for soon. that. <laughs> you know, I'm all for... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm all for equality and opportunity, but, but it comes both ways. What you can't do is trivialise a serious issue. And I can understand why people are concerned because it becomes like then human interest. People then say, well, I've gone through something similar here. They're trivializing this and I'm not going to buy products from there anymore. It's just, it's terrible virtue signaling marketing. It's happening all over this place. It's all under the kind of, sort of this greenwash aspects, the ESG and the rest of it. And they all seem to be doing it. But quite often it backfires. This is another perfect example of that. And I completely understand why you're getting callers who are upset about this. People have gone through things that are very close um, in terms of their own circumstances, and it looks like Costa are trivialising it. Yeah. And so people are going to go, well, I'm, I'm not going to go there anymore. And it won't just be one or two. It will be tens, it will be hundreds, it will be thousands. They'll, they will pay a price for this. But it's not stopping companies doing it. And I have to ask the question, why? Yeah. It's just bad marketing. It's bad advertising. You know, you get a bunch of creatives go around the table and work out what the next advert's going to be. And they'll look at it from a creative point of view. They'll look at it from an audience point of view. On this one, it seems that like they've done neither. Yeah, yeah. And it's all they've done is upset a lot of people. Yeah, and they, they, somebody, uh, the brand expert on yesterday said, well, you know, uh, Costa Coffee is keen that everybody should understand their values. I said, I don't give a damn about their values. I don't care what they think. I, I just serve me some coffee. You know, that's what you do. Stick to it. It's ridiculous. Uh, James, uh, that was fantastic. Thank you very much, and we'll do the same again this time next week. That's uh, James Melville, political and social commentator. Studios. By the way, before I go, I should uh, just give Costa Coffee uh, their right of reply. They say... 
at Costa Coffee. We celebrate the diversity of our customers, team members and partners. We want everyone that interacts with us to experience the inclusive environment that we create to encourage people to feel welcome, free, unashamedly proud to be themselves. The mural in its entirety showcases and celebrates inclusivity.